All right, guys, we are back. Playing some more Pokemon Swords. If you were able to join us for the last couple of sessions of this today, you will know that we obviously beat the first gym. We beat Milo at Furfield. The first gym, the Grass Gym. Uh, we had our first Gigantamax battle as well. Uh, so I'd probably recommend going and checking that out towards the end of the last episode. If you haven't seen one of those already, it was pretty insane, I must say. Um, we obviously rejoin it back now when we are going to be walking through Route 5. It seems like a, quite a long way to get to Route 5 if we just have a look at the map. You can quite clearly see. We are here. Our destination is here. We do have a bike that we can ride. I tend to prefer exploring on my feet because then I can, you know, actually go around and find out all the different hidden locations that there may be. We can see we're about to come up on what looks to be a long bridge, which is what some of the uh, Yale squad were saying about uh, when they were trying to steal the bike. Um, so, yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and carry on. Let's just give a quick recap of the Pokemon that we've got at the moment. So, Dreadnought. He evolved from Tutel in the last episode. We've got Dotlo as well, who's still holding strong. We've got Karkol, who I believe, did he evolve in the last stream? I can't remember off the top of my head if he evolved in the last stream or the one before. But yeah, Karkol evolved and from the Rolly Coley, or was it, was it, was it Rolly Coley? I think it was called Rolly Coley. Uh, we've got Thwacky as well, who evolved from um, Grookey, the uh, starter Pokemon. We've got Corvusquire, who as well is a second evolution from, again, I forget the name. And then we've got Yampa, who is still yet to evolve. But I think Yampa evolves somewhere around level 25, 26. So almost got a full squad of evolution Pokemon. So that's always going to be good. But without further ado, let's just get this started. We are, as I say, on Route 5. We've uh, encountered... Right, uh, we've got a Pokemon breeder just there. I think I can leave Dreadnought in. We'll, we'll show off Dreadnought a bit more. Here we go, Pokemon Breeder. You're challenged by Pokemon Breeder Denise. Hello, Denise. Send out a Chirubby. Alright. We are sending out a Dreadnought. Who, you know, your Chirubby really pales in comparison. Uh, let's go ahead and Rock Tomb it. Should be that super effective. Nah, well, I mean, it's not super effective, but it is a one hit KO, so that's always great. Okay, got some XP for that. A Woobat. Uh, Woobat. This is a flying type. So, what's good against flying? Ice is good against flying. Uh, fighting is not. Either it's grass. I'm trying to remember. Electric is. Electric is obviously good against flying. What am I on about? Why did that take so long to make that decision? I don't know how long I'm going to be streaming for in this session. Maybe an hour or two. Uh, maybe even longer. Depends on where we get to and, and how into Pokemon I get. Yeah, come on in. Let's go, Yampa. You spark. Ooh, one hit KO. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. Thwacky up to level 24. Thwacky wants to learn the move knockoff. That is... A fighting type? It's a dark type, okay, but it, it, it removes the target's held item, yeah. Uh, do I want to use knockoff? I mean, it's 100% accuracy, and that's very... Um, maybe we get rid of a uh, double hit. I think Screech is still going to be uh, quite useful when it comes to it. So uh, I guess we'll get rid of double hit and the uh, knockoff instead. And we defeated Pokemon Breeder Denise. I, I'll accept that. I lost, but I'm not going to let it bother me that much. Brilliant. Alright, there is an item here. And we got 3x special attacks. Cool. 
I want to try and avoid that as much as possible because I do not like those, uh, the way that the Pokemon run at you. I mean, I get it. I understand it. I understand why they put it in the game, but I just hate when Pokemon chase after you, uh, especially when you don't want to battle them. So, we are challenged by Office Worker Gabriel. He sent out a Crow Gunk, which is a Dark Poison type. From the top of my head, I think that what that is. Let's give it a bit of a rock tomb. See how that goes. Not that well, but still over half of the HP has been eliminated, so I'm not gonna really complain about that. Okay, good. I was a bit worried that Dreadnought was gonna become uh, poisoned after that, but luckily he's still okay. <laughs> There we go, Yampa up to level 24. Let's go, defeated Office Worker Gabriel. You're a trainer who's stronger than me, and a Pokemon that can work, that can do my work. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Right, let's continue heading through Route 5. What does this say? Pokemon that appear to be surrounded by a brilliant aura tend to be stronger than others. And when you defeat them, they drop lots. It seems you become more likely to spot these brilliant Pokemon the more Pokemon you catch. Well, I think we've caught, you know, like 10 Pokemon, which isn't isn't great. We've seen quite a few. Okay. Ooh, Holbury. Okay. Did we just... Are we there already? I don't know, the map... The map seemed to suggest that we were quite a long way away from it. The map seemed to suggest that we were quite a long way away from it, but now all of a sudden we're just here. We, so we just skipped, we just skipped all of this. Um, fair enough. I mean, we did go across a bridge, but I wasn't too sure if that was the actual bridge uh, in the last stream. But yeah, we are at the town of Holbury, a bustling seaport that many visit to see its lively market stalls and famed restaurant. Okay, so obviously the first thing to do whenever you reach a new city is to go in and give your Pokemon a bit of a heal just to make sure that they're all up to the power that we need them to be obviously the second gym is here I believe it is a water type gym so we should have enough coverage I mean we've got Thwacky and we've got uh, Yampa as well I'm going to try and see if I can get Yampa evolved before we take on the gym um, just so that we have, you know, a full squad of evolved Pokemon, and also we will have extra strength going into the uh, gym battle. So, who is this? Our sincerest apologies, the chairman is quite busy at the moment. Everyone, please disperse. Leave, please leave now. Okay, see you later, chairman. Is that Rose? Is that chairman Rose? No need to rush off. I can still do more autographs. Look at him, look at him with that little pop belly of his. Look at that. That's it, mate, let it all hang out. I'll even give you my Pokemon League card. Oh, mate, don't worry. There's always next time. We need the support of our fans to keep doing what we're doing. Chasing them off like that, aren't you being a bit too harsh, Oleana? Fans are very important, of course. Why do you need to keep doing your work? For their sake. I promise to do everything in my power to assist you too, Chairman. Oh, and you, uh... Bede, sir. That's right, Bede. I dare say I'm impressed how far you've come since I gave you that Pokemon all those years ago. Will you be the one to win the gym challenge or perhaps will it be one of the trainers endorsed by the champion? Yeah, of course it is going to be. I mean, that's a no question, right? I will prove your faith in me was well placed, Chairman. I won't lose to anyone. Anyway, I'll be on my way now. Yeah, bye bye, Dede. What, what an absolute... Yeah, what, an, what yeah. Ah, your name was Jack, right? We were just talking about you. I admit, I'm curious about Leon's lessons, Leon's reasons for endorsing you. Ah, I just had a good idea, and I tend to do. You're going to face gym leader Nessa soon, yes? If you get a gym badge from her, I'll hold a celebration. I'd like to get to know you a little better after all. Chairman, we should really be going. Please do your best for the sake of Galar's future. Alright, Rose, I will uh, try my best. Chairman will be heading to this town's seafood restaurant. Win the gym badge and join him there at once did not keep him waiting.
Alright, so... Is there anywhere that I can train up anyone? What is going on here? I believe the chairman was quite clear. Get your water badge at, badge at once! Hey, what, what, what is this place? I don't... What? what? Okay, has he gone... Has he gone... Did I miss that part of the conversation? Has he gone to like a restaurant or something? Let's go and explore down here. Oh, this looks like a nice little marketplace. Get a whiff of that fragrance. How about some in incense for you, boy? Uh, I'm okay, thanks for now. Mistakes aren't that bad when you cook with your mates. At least they make for funny stories. Hey, up! Oh, welcome to the herb shop. Let's see what you buy, shall we? Uh, I mean, herbs are so herbs. I think they're herbs sort of like lower the friendliness because they're all like disgusting tasting but they do do their job look at that 60 hp 120 hp heal powder just a full heal but a lot cheaper and a revival herb is a max revive but again a lot cheaper so always handy to keep in mind uh what's over here oh there's something shining on the floor and that's a x special defense cool we'll put that in our bag Hello little girl, you'll have no trouble in the gym challenge if you take the time to train up now. That is true. That is true. I feel like the time you spend trying to make up your mind is the true essence of shopping. Nah, that's why I don't like shopping. Because a lot of people just don't know how to make up their mind. And I go in and out and I'm done. You got a, you got a mini chino? Interested in trading it for my cottony? Uh, I do not have a mini chino, sorry about that. I mean, I could easily catch one and trade it, but... That's just effort right now. I bet it's gonna be tough, tough to defeat Nessa. I, I don't think it will be. Uh, like I say, we're gonna do some a bit more exploring. So, again, still can't believe that a lot of people in Pokémon just, you know, have their doors unlocked and are willing to let you walk in. I have Champion Leon's Lee card too. Good for you. I mean, I do, but yeah, you know, whatever. Let's go, what are you up to? I remember when Professor Magnolia first presented her findings on Dynamax Phenomenon. The whole Galar region was in such a spin. Really. Really. Alright, on to the next house. Oh, fishing rod. Not a single bite today, but I still need to polish my gear. I mean, Pokemon are bound to bite if my gear is nice and shiny, right? Not a single bite today, but still, yeah, I mean... Theoretically, yeah, you know, if you dangle a little shiny thing in the front of someone's face, um, they're bound to bite it. If any bad guys come, our Pokemon will protect us. And what about you? Okay, it's just both of you. Cool. Little kids, little naive kids that don't know a thing about Pokemon. Let's continue around up here. See if we can get, oh, there's something shiny in the grass. A full hill. Alright, I'll take that. What is this guy doing? Just observing the gym? I've got high hopes for you. I mean, I say that to every challenger, of course. Well, thanks, I guess, but... No, I thought I'd be the only one. Ah! It's hard to tell... It's hard to tell if a whooper is a male, female or male. Can you do it? Uh... Uh... Oh, which one... Are we meant to... Oh, is there something... In it for us? Which one of you is a male? I don't know. I don't know! I don't know which one of them is a male or a female. Um, I'm not going to start trying to assume Pokemon's genders, you know, it's 2019. Um, I think we've gone past that point now. If the gym leader is too weak, their gym will be relegated to the minor division. Everything my mum cooks is yummy, and everything at the restaurant is also yummy. Well, that's good to know! I will maybe stop by later and try to sample some of your mum's cooking. Wink, wink. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what I mean, but you know, whatever. We found two X speeds. Alright, there's a train pulling into the station, but we don't want to go there just yet. So, I mean, the only other unexplored place, I guess, would be down towards the gym. But, like I said, I kind of want to get my Yamper up to level 25. Just so we can see it evolve. And then I'll be more than happy to walk around and take on the gym. Um, I'm fairly certain it evolves at level 25. I might be completely wrong. But we're going to go ahead and just give it a bit more additional training. 
um, against some of the Pokemon in the wild. Maybe we'll even catch a couple as well while we're at it if we see any cool looking Pokemon. We have got a Minchino right here. Maybe I can catch a Minchino and trade it for a Cottony. Maybe not. I will most likely just end up killing this uh, adorable little Pokemon. Yampy, you can spark. Alright, uh, uh, let's do spark again. Why not? Okay, now it's paralyzed. That's all right. That makes that makes our lives a little bit easier. Helping hand. I don't know why Pokemon in the Wild do that all the time. They always use Helping Hand and all of this other stuff when they don't have a partner Pokemon to do it with. I'm not complaining because it means like, they don't attack me. But just to, I would have thought that if they don't have someone with them, they would automatically not want to use Helping Hand or you know one of those. Uh, dual Pokemon effect. Uh, we have got an Absorb Bulb. I'm assuming an, an item to be held by a Pokemon. It is special attack if the holder is hit with a water type attack. Ooh. Ooh, that's interesting. They hide that there just as we are approaching the water type gym, so that's always great. Okay. Got a Wild Drifloon. We haven't encountered one of these yet before. I mean, we did see some of them in the wild area, but a level 21 Drifloon as well. So this might give us a bit of good experience, hopefully. No Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball, obviously, probably one of the best and one of my favorite ghost type moves. However, when we know it's a flying type, you know, there's nothing really they can do against us. Hex, it puts a curse on us or something, is it? Does it burn us as well? No, it doesn't burn us. I think that's Willow Wisp is the move that I'm thinking of that uh, burns you. We'll have a chance to burn you at least. Okay. There we go. Dotler and Carcoal. Up to 23 and 24 respectively. Alright, that's good. Uh, what do we what do we want to do? We want to potentially heal our um, Yampa just for now. Only a few more Pokemon uh, battles to to do before hopefully we can uh, evolve our Yampa because that is obviously our sole goal before we do take on the second gym. All right. Uh, you know you know how to do. Spark it up, spark it up, please. Yes, Yampa, well done. Well done, oh my word. I would have completely freaked out if we got put to sleep there. No, no, ah, uh, why? Again, that attract any of those, I mean, I guess, you know, that's the whole point, you know, and I know that you see a lot of, like, status effects and stuff get used in professional play, but, come on. Can't be asked to just wait for my Pokemon to to wake up. It's just it's just long, and it is really annoying. But like I say, it's a tactic that it works well. It works well. All right, it's gone back to being retarded now. There we go. Let's hit it with a spark. Easy does it. Easy does it. What well on Yamp? All right, 178. About halfway to level 25. Get out of the way of you guys. I don't want you guys anywhere near me, please. Uh, is there any other Pokemon? Let's go up against the Drifloon again, why not? When did Drifloon get introduced? Diamond and Pearl, or was it black and white? I don't think it was Diamond and Pearl, was it? Yeah, I, I can't remember off the top of my head when Ripley got introduced into the franchise, but it's a pretty cool Pokemon. Aftermath, ah, oh. Pretty good, pretty good, uh, 
good effect. 208 EXP, come on. Come on, we have to almost be there now. Alright, who is this? Ah! The Dotler! Well, we know what Dotler's about. We know exactly what Dotler's about, so we're gonna go ahead and fight it. There we go. Dotler has some pretty decent, like, special defense and stuff as well, so obviously it's uh, gonna take some time to whittle it down. We we'll fight again and hope for the best. We are a lot faster than the Doppler. So, there we go. Easy does it. Come on, Yampa. Almost there. Almost there. Just keep it up. Keep it up. Please, can you guys go... Look, I don't like you chasing after me. You know, I'm waiting for a decent Pokemon to arrive. There we go. Another Dotler. That's what I like. I mean, I think Dotler gives me slightly more XP. I'm not too sure. But, let's go ahead and fight it a couple of times. Ah, how is it faster than you, Yampa? Come on. Go. Easy does it, easy does it. And then let's use bites. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. Easy does it. Yo, oh, there we go, Yampa! 310 XP up to level 25. I'm hoping that it evolves. Please. There we go, Yampa is evolving. Alright, what is it going to evolve into? Ooh, whoa, look at that! That is like an electric fox, look at that, your Yampa evolved into a Boltund. Okay. Okay, I can dig that. The Pokemon generates electricity and channels it into its legs to keep them going strong. Boltund can run non-stop for three or four days. Damn, I want all my money on Bolton. Alright, so, we've done what we set out to do. We wanted to get Bolton evolved, and we have done that, so we're going to go back to Holbury. Um, then we are going to heal our Pokemon and make our way down to Nessa in the gym. See if we can't complete the gym challenge, and then also, obviously, defeat Nessa, maybe Gigantamax another Pokemon, um, so that's always going to be great, obviously it's going to be a water type, so we'll obviously be looking to maybe Gigantamax, maybe our, our Thwacky, um, just because grass type, so maybe that's what we'll be doing, we'll get our first glimpse of a Gigantamax starter Pokemon, let's go over here, what seems to be the issue, why can't I get in? If you're looking for the gym leader, Nessa, she's off at the lighthouse. The lighthouse as well. If you head towards the sea from here, you shouldn't be able to miss it. Okay. Uh, is it this way somewhere? Uh, what are you guys up to? Gala is a huge island. Lighthouses have always been really important in helping ships find their way. I agree. Why does Nessa love the lighthouse so much? Uh, to save people's lives? Oh, there's something sparkly there. Two potions, two super potions even. Oh, what is that? What is this? This is a statue of the Pokemon that's said to have protected the lighthouse. What is that? I mean, that looks awesome. Ah, hello, Ness. Nessa. You must be a gym challenger, right? How did you know? You're one of the ones endorsed by Leon, right? You've become something of a hot topic among gym, the gym leaders. Here you go, Mr. Famous. I already heard about you, so you should learn about me too. Hey, Nessa's lead card. You put the lead card in your album, yes sir? Yes, I did, I did. Let's head to the stadium. I love fishing, but I love Pokemon battles even more. And I'm itching for a battle with you. You sure? You really want to battle me? I don't think you can battle me. I don't think you can handle this. Can we, can we not get into the lighthouse? Hmm. 
I can see there's a guy up at the top of the lighthouse. I want to be up at the top of the lighthouse as well. Uh, let's explore down the docks. We have an item. Five netballs. Which netballs of water or bug types. Uh, we've got a bunch of Pokemon floating around in here. Let's go. Let's see what we can get from the shallow water. Oh, there we go. Waiting for the bite. Whoa, what is that? An Arrowcuda. Uh, let's go. Alright, we are going to spark it and then maybe try to catch it if it doesn't kill it. It'll probably kill it. Ah, yep. I knew it was going to kill it. I knew it was going to kill it. Maybe we can fish up another one and try not to kill it. Maybe we can use Nuzzle instead. I'm not sure what the damage differential between Spark and Nuzzle is, but let's go. Alright, let's try and fish up another one here. Maybe it's the same one. Come on. There we go. Yep, we got another Arrowcuda. Right, let's use a Nuzzle instead this time. I want to damage it, but I don't want to kill it. There we go, there we go. I knew, I knew that was going to happen. It was paralyzed as well. So, use Agility. Increases its speed. Let's go and... Throw a netball at it. Why not? We just picked up five netballs. Let's go ahead and use one. It is a water type, so hopefully it remains four. There we go. There we go. An arrow cuda. What level was it? Was it like 20 something? Oh yeah, poor Visquire. Up to level 25. 70 HP now. What level was it? I can't remember what level it was. If it sees any movement around it, this Pokemon charges for it straight away, leading with its sharply pointed jaw. It's very proud of that jaw. We don't want to give Arrowcuda a nickname, but we want to have a look at its summary and its stats. So, yeah, speed and its attack. So it's quite fast. Aqua Jet, Furry Attack. Oh, Fury Attack. I don't know why it's a Furry Attack. Uh, bite and Agility. Mmm. What level is it? Is it level, level 20? Okay, it's level 20, but it's paralysed. Do we want to replace anyone in our party? Uh, I, I kind of don't want to. It's a cool Pokemon and all. I mean, the only Pokemon I consider would be Dreadnought, but it just looks cool. And, I mean, I know he's our lowest. And he's our really our only other water type, but he's a water and rock type. Hmm. Yeah. Unfortunately, mate. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to send you to a, a box. But we're definitely gonna be looking to maybe incorporate him into our team at some point in the future. All right. So we've been involved in a couple of battles. So obviously the sensible thing to do is to go back to Pokemon Center and just give a quick heal to our Pokemon because again. We are. Well, I guess why not? Really, we uh, we don't really have any time constraint. Let's go. Would I like to rest my Pokémon? Yes, I would. Thank you very much, Nurse Joy. Let's go. We are done with this. Let's head on over to the water gym. Now I must say, so I did go to the Pokemon Center in London, and I think that this gym is what they had on as sort of their like preview demo of the game. It was only 10 minutes, so you had to try and beat the gym within 10 minutes to, to try and do it. Um, so I don't. I, I got, I, I did the gym mission, 
um, and I managed to get up to the point where I was about to battle Nessa and then obviously the, the game just timed out on me so yeah um, I think I can remember roughly what the gym mission is I don't know if I can actually remember how to specifically do it but yeah I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys so we'll just get straight into it and he is doing some weird dance okay okay ball guy Oh my god. <sighs> I mean, yeah, sure, whatever, but oh my god. Hey there, Gym Challenger. Shall we start the process to get you ready for the gym mission? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Alright, let's get changed into our Gym Challenge gear. There we go, number 69. Alright, you're in your uniform. Head on into the gym mission. Ah, by the way, while you're on the gym mission, you can't use your Pokemon Box Link. That's fine by me. I don't really need to use it anyway. Let's go ahead. Step into the water gym in Holberry. Oh, yep, I remember this. So there are a bunch of switches around the area that turn on and off the pipes. And I guess the main goal is to get to the end of this sort of area. The Holbury Pokemon Gym's mission is this, a challenging maze. You must reach the goal to clear the mission. However, some parts of the maze are blocked by water. What should you do then? Try pressing that red button over there, and I imagine you'll figure it out, future champ. I imagine I will as well. Now, let the gym mission begin. Okay. Right, first of all, let's organize our Pokemon. We've got Boltund in there. Got Dotler as well. Maybe we should swap with Thwacky. Come on, Thwacky. Alright, first trainer. Let's go. Welcome to the Holbury Stadium. Ready to bask in the beauty of water type moves? Yeah, you know I am. Of course I am. I'm always ready for that. You are challenged by Grim Chainer Julia. Okay. So, what is she going to send out? A tin pole. Alright. Go on, Flacky. I know you can do it. Let's go ahead and just poke it with the branch. You know, pokey branch. Whoa. One hit KO. Can't really complain. If you guys are wondering what I'm doing right now, I'm just pouring myself a drink, so don't worry about that. Oh, yeah. Dreadnought up to level 24. We defeated that. Was that your only Pokemon? Huh. Okay. Fair enough. Do it 2016 for winning. Coney 2016 or whatever it was. Coney 2012. Alright. So, if we press this red button, you can see that it switches from one area to the other. So, press this yellow button, we'll turn that off, and then obviously we'll have to come back here and press this red button. Makes sense, right? all about trying to get to the end and be in a situation where you can actually make it out. So, first situation that we have to do here, come around, battle against his trainer, and you can see there's a yellow switch there as well, so obviously, you know what we're going to do after we beat this trainer, we're going to beeline it straight for that switch. Go on, Thwacky, you can do it. Alright, let's Go for a razor leaf. Bang, bang, bang. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's how we like it. Thwacky, almost up to level 25. Corfish. Uh, we'll keep Thwacky out there for now. Core, core, core fish. It just reminds me of. Well, uh, I can't remember what, what the uh, what anime series it was in terms of like what series of Pokemon it was, but I, I think it might have been Ruby when when Ruby and Sapphire came out. Cause I think that's when Corfish got introduced, wasn't it? I can't remember, but yeah, I know Ash had a Corfish and a Crawdon afterwards. Wacky up to level 25, and we've defeated Gym Trainer Heather. There we go. Obviously, the first three gyms being you know Grass, Water, and Fire. I guess it means no matter what, um, no matter what starter you pick, you're going to be able to be 
effective, at least in one of those first three. So, we need to, yes, turn that red one off, come back around this way. I'm actually going to turn it down a little bit in my ears, because it's getting a bit hot, it's getting a bit loud, especially the uh, sound effect that plays after you press the switch. Alright, so we can see there's a blue button there. We've got a trainer here. Trainer, well, you made it this far, and you want to battle me? Well, of course, I, I mean, I need to battle you, otherwise you would battle me, so... Alright, Gym Trainer Lin. Alright, let's go. Branch poke. Okay, got Pokemon gain EXP points. That's what I'm talking about. Tutor would say. Ah, we'll keep we'll keep a uh, wacky out for now. Alright, let's go ahead and poke the branch again. There we go. Ooh, Carcol and Dotler. Closest to levelling up. And we've got Boltum coming in as well. With that strength, it's no wonder you beat me in my Pokemon. 2016 for winning again. Alright, let's go down here. What is down here? So there's a yellow button here. If we press this yellow button. And that's going to activate If we come over here and press this red button, then we give us access to the blue button. That, is, it, is it that simple? Is that simple, right? Yeah, I mean, it seems to be that simple. I think if we go back and speak to this guy, we can get our Pokemon here. Okay, I'm good. Cool. I think in the, uh, in the demo that they had, you could always go back to that guy and he would heal your Pokemon for you. So, yeah. See, they've not implemented that in here. So before we do actually step on these stairs this time, we're going to go ahead and save it. Hopefully, next time we'll have a bit more of that circle filled up with our second gym badge. Let's just go ahead. Do we want to keep Thwacky in there? Or do we want to give Bolton a bit of a run out? Eh. I say we'll, we'll keep Thwacky in there for now. And then we can always, you know, swap in and out of Pokemon during the battle anyway, so... Gym mission has been cleared. Thank you. Always great. Alright, here we go. Number 69. Running up to it. It's running up to it. Serpentine. Serpentine. Oh. Here we go. Second gym battle here at Holbury against Nessa, a water type Pokemon. Let's see what kind of insane Gigantamax battle happens here. Alright. Welcome on a gym challenger. I think you are. I think you already realised, but I'm Nessa. Sorry to have made you look for me. I don't doubt my humble mission's difficulty, yet you cleared it. Your mind as a Pokemon trainer must be quite refined. No matter what kind of plan your refined mind may be plotting, my partner and I will be sure to sink it. Aw, oh, damn. Let's go. Come on, Nessa. Give me all you got. Nessa, you are challenged by gym leader Nessa. Ooh! Look at that, I can't even get my leg that high. Go on, Quacky, you can do it. Ooh wee! Gigantamax, incoming. Maybe not right now, if you want to save it. But I, I think we can take that out. Goldeen relatively quickly, yes we can. 
Soon for that. There we go. Ooh, oh, Carcoal and Doctor almost leveling up. Arrokuda, well, came up against one of these. Let's go. Let's go ahead and poke it with the branch. Ooh, another one hit kill. Breezing through this. Absolutely breezing through this gym battle. There we go. Doctor and Carcoal finally up a level. Doctor up to level 24. Carcoal up to level 25. Cool as you like. A Dreadnought. Hmm. We will leave. Wacky in for now. Looks like I'm down to one last Pokemon. Is she gonna Gigantamax and Dreadnought? I know what's gonna happen right now. I think that's gonna happen right now, so I'm gonna Dynamax and then use Max Overgrowth. That's what I'm gonna do. Wee! Let's go! Dynamax time! To save music in the gym, man! Maybe is that, is that like Dynamax music? I don't know what that is, but I love it. Ooh, wee! Look at that! Wacky! I mean, if that doesn't look terrifying, terrifying, I don't know what else. Flood the stadium and make it our ocean! Dreadnought, time for Dynamax! Alright, let's have a look at this Dynamax Dreadnought. We obviously have a Dreadnought ourselves. So we'll maybe get a little bit of a taste of what we are looking forward to in the future if we have decided to Dynamax Dreadnought. Oh, look at that! That is insane. Max Overgrowth though. Bang, bang, bang! Wee! Ha <laughs> ha! One hit! One kill! Bang! No contest! Absolutely no trouble! There we go! That is what I'm talking about! Absolutely amazing quacky! 782, deservedly going up a level! And of course Bolton's going up to level 26 as well at the same time! About. Too good, man. Too good. We are too good for this. How how can this be? Well, I mean, I should beat you. Now that I've battled you, I think I understand. Continue to seize victories in the gym challenge with your Pokémon. You have an incredible spirit. That may even be strong enough to challenge the champion. Of course it will be. You and your Pokemon are indeed deserving of this gym badge. Woo wee! Look at that sweet handshake. There we go. Where's that slot in? Over to the right hand side of that circle. I'm a bit annoyed it's not. I'm a bit annoyed there's a gap at the moment, but. You can now catch Pokemon over up to level 30. You want to challenge the fire gym leader next, as you and your Pokemon are now. He'll definitely want to battle you. Wee! That's what I'm talking about. My Jack, my sincere congratulations for your victory over Jim Leader Nessa. Please take this commemorative TM. Well, cool. Okay. The user traps the target in a violent swirling whirlpool for four to five turns. Now take this replica of Nessa's uniform, water uniform. Now that you've won the water badge, I'll be watching to see just how far you and your Pokemon can go. Well, thank you very much for that. We are... We are done with the gym in Holbury. Do not keep the chairman waiting. Head to the seafood restaurant, the captain's table. So you will not forget the chairman's face, I will give you one of his league cards. Thank you. I think I've already got his league card, haven't I? Chairman Rose is the kind of man who gets down harder if he doesn't take care of me. He needs to right away. Go to the seafood restaurant as soon as possible. So as not to keep the chairman waiting. I mean, I'm obviously going to go to the Pokemon Center first. I, even though I don't think we took any damage, we just need to restore some of our moves. And I think, actually, the seafood restaurant is over this way anyway, so... Yeah, I mean, why not? Why not go to the Pokemon Center? Just in case there is something going down in the seafood restaurant, we want to make sure that our Pokemon are restored back to full health. Look at that team! That team! Just too good, man. It's too good. Alright. 
Let's go. <coughs> so, let's go into this restaurant. Where is the captain's table? Welcome to the seafood restaurant, the captain's table. Chairman Rose comes here incognito, but the word always gets out when he's in here. Alright, hello Chairman. Jack, let's celebrate your recent victory. Oh, you invited too? You two know each other? That's great. Come now, please be seated. Okay, let's have some seafood. Uh, what's going on? Albury is a seafood town. Naturally, if one is going to eat here, the obvious choice is the local cuisine. Everything on the menu is delicious. I just love the wingo outside of the window. Look at it, it's just staring in like, I want, I want me some of that fish. Give me some of that fish. <laughs> oh, by the way, how is Professor Magnolia getting on? I'm quite indebted to her, you know. She was the one who figured out how to unleash the power of wishing stars and use that power to Dynamax Pokemon. We could never have been able to create the Dynamax fans without her. Yeah, that's fair enough. She was saying that there's still so much we don't know about Dynamax. It's causing her some worry. She even made me take a super, take a power spot detector with me when I started travelling. Power spot detector? That's the device that allowed me to discover the power spots. Ugh, really? <laughs> Locations that emit Galar particles and allow Pokemon to dynamax. I don't like hearing that Professor Magnolia is so worried though. If, if only there was something I could do. Sonya, maybe good for you to visit the vault in Hammerlock. I believe the key to unlocking the secrets of the dynamax phenomenon lies in the history of in the history preserved there. Understood, Chairman. I will arrange a meeting with Miss Sonya. However, I believe it is about time that we get going, Chairman. Hmm. But I've hardly had the chance to chance to uh, But I've hardly had a chance to speak with Jack. It's regrettable, but I suppose it can't be helped. If something needs to be done, there's no time. Like the present after all. In any case, I bid you all farewell. Okay, bye Rose. Thank you for that completely pointless not meal. <sighs> Does he think he's doing me a favour? He's right that the vault would be a good place to look for info of the, on the legends, but... You got the water badge, yeah? Defeating Nessa's no small feat. Here's a TM as a reward. Retaliate? Is that the one where you can use it after you've been attacked and stuff? Use it gets revenge for a fainted ally. If an ally fainted in the previous turn, this move's power is increased. Cool. Nessa, a good friend. Perhaps I should drop in on her. Until next time, Jim Chal Challenger. Man, I really can't speak today. Even earlier, I wasn't able to speak. Alright, mate. We've got the grass badge and the water badge by now, right? In that case, we're both headed for the Moto Stoke and the Fire Gym Leader Kabu. How about I share with you a little tip about the Leader Kabu? From what I heard, he's holed up now in Gallup of Mine Number 2, undergoing some special training. If he's in there, then we can't take him on in Moto Stoke, even if we zip over there, putting the brakes on our gym challenge. So I say we head to Galar Mine Number 2 ourselves. Let's go see what all the fuss is about. Cool, yeah. Hello, Wasp Ginger. Wasp Ginger is in the chat. How's it going? Welcome, welcome to some Pokemon. I don't know if you're a fan of Pokemon, but yeah, that's what we've been playing for uh, quite a bit today. Um, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I'm a massive Pokemon fan. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. How are you doing today? Sorry, I've just seen your chat. I don't know how long ago that was, but I've just seen your chat, so. Before I give you a shout out, when you see one of those giant Pokemon while fishing in the wild area, it feels like it's either a catch or be caught. That is true. That is true. Whenever I see a big fish, it is always catch or be caught. Oh man, you're sick. Oh man, dude, I hope you, uh, I hope you feel better soon. Oh, it's uh, sad news to hear that you're not feeling that great. Um, I guess it's a uh, oh, a sick in a good, in a, in a, as in like yeah, sick. Or I don't know, maybe I misconstrued that. Whoa, what is that Pokemon? I want one of those. I want an elephant Pokemon. I don't know what it's called, but I want it. Galamine number two is a good spot. It's full of rock solid Pokemon. Are we gonna maybe find one of these elephant Pokemon over here? Hmm. Alright, we're gonna head this way anyway. Galamine number two, okay, so right next to the city. You're sick in a good way, but like, uh, why? Like, what's what's got you feeling sick in a good way? I'm assuming that something must be uh, something must have happened today that's got you feeling feeling good. 
You encounter the wild Scraggy. Yeah, I don't really want to encounter you, Scraggy. No offense, but... I just didn't want to encounter you. But... I think it's a grass type. Or... Well, it's ground type. I think it's ground type, right? What have you been up to today, then, Wasp Ginger? You doing anything... Anything exciting? Ah, thanks. Come on. Come on, use Razor Leaf. Ah, uh, just football training. Nice. I mean, nothing wrong with football training. Nothing wrong with that at all. So I haven't played, I mean, I say I haven't played football in a long time, but I mean, I play it with uh, guys at work at lunchtime, um, but, yeah, you know, normally we don't take it that seriously at work anyway, because it's all just a bit of fun, and especially when we tend to play it now, it's just raining all the time, so obviously the grass gets a lot, a lot muddy, um, and yeah, it just ends up with, oh, certainly the first time when I went back to play it a few weeks back, it was just me slipping everywhere. Um, but I did go out and get myself some football boots and it's all fine now. But yeah, when I went out there on Tuesday this week, I checked the weather forecast and saw that it was going to be raining at exactly 12 o'clock, which is when our lunch break is. And lo and behold, it was, I mean, it was fine up until 12, and then we got there, and as we were walking towards the, uh, towards the park, just started coming down and pissing down with rain, which is always great fun. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm a massive football fan as well. How's um what's your what what teams do you support? Interesting to know what team you support. I don't actually know. You might have told me before. You might have told me before what team you support. But my my memory is probably just bad. Uh I'm take on oh, what is called yeah, Shellos. Do you actually support Grimsby? Oh man, that's awesome. All right. Cool! I didn't know that! Maybe you maybe didn't tell me. That's, that's cool! Okay. Yeah, good on ya! Now I, now I understand why you've uh, why you decided to watch some of my uh, FIFA videos. It makes sense now. Maybe I can just assume that from the start. Yeah, no, that's cool. That's cool. Is that like where you're from then? Is that, are you like, a, is that like your local team? I'm assuming you should local team. Oh, what is he doing? Oh, no. See, that's fine. Look, Kotlar, super effective. It still barely takes a hit. And then it just hits itself in the face. Come on, bro. I hate the confusion. Oh, stop using ancient power on me. I mean, I like the animation of it. But... From Grimsby, the manager got sacked. When did the manager get sacked? I mean, I've... I keep up to date with like the Grimsby Town scores, just purely based on the fact that I've been playing with them on my FIFA 20 career mode, but I didn't know their manager got sacked. Um, maybe I should write to them, maybe I should uh, see if I can apply for a job. Uh, well, how are we going to deal with this? Um, Carco, do you want to have one of it? Why not? Alright. Wild well, Shadow use the water pulse. Alright, uh, it's really super effective. Why do they I knew it was a water type. I knew it was a water type. I think it's a water ground type, isn't it? Duh, why are you being such Why are you being such a dickhead for? Please. <laughs> Hey man, I mean, I reckon I could do, I could do a good job at Grimsby Town. You know, I could get the players playing how I want them to play, how they play for me. You know, I mean, what's the difference between you know playing FIFA and actually managing a team? You know, I don't think there's too much difference. Please, thank you. So that I don't know why that was so difficult to be. We don't even get like the rewards that we want in terms of XP. 
That was not worth it. What is going on down here? Oh, it's this guy again. Betty. What are you doing? This is like our rival, but not our rival. I'd feel sorry for my Pokemon if I made them take part in a battle against low-level opponents. I'm not in the mood to deal with weaklings right now. Then again, I suppose it's a form of mercy to crush weak opponents early on. If you're under the misguided impression that you're stronger than me, then surely you'd be up for a battle. Hold on a minute. <sighs> I have no time to deal with pathetic trainers. Wait a minute. I need to sort out my Pokemon first, okay? Calm, calm down. Look, I'm not going to walk into a battle with my Dopra way down on health and my car call way down the hill, so just chill the fuck out and I'll be with you in a minute. Uh, do we have any berries? We've got an orange berry. Quacky. You got any plans for the weekend, Wasp? You doing anything fun or just gonna be chilling out at home? Alright, here we go. Coming up against Betty. Betty exclamation mark, I should say. Colossus. Draw the Pokemon that we went up against before. We faced you before and we used Struggle Bug and I think we killed you with one hit before. Maybe not, maybe not. Oh, you got a football match tomorrow. Well, good luck for that. Um, I'm sure, I'm sure that you're gonna smash it. I don't know who you're playing, but I'm sure you will absolutely smash it. So yeah, good luck with that. Come on, Dopla. Kill that. Bye bye, Solosis. Oh, uh, Corpus Fire almost. Almost level 26. Pokemon trainer Betty is about to send out Gothita. Playing with former Scumfork players. What? What? <laughs> Wait. What? I mean, that, 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 that sounds cool. I mean, that, I've been in Southampton, but I've never been to Scumfork, so you know. Um, who's gonna get Scott Peter? Might be able to beat them with. This yeah, Struggle Bug still. Uh, Played against the Lincoln team but lost 7 0. Is this like, like a sort of like local league thing? I guess what, what do they call it like that? The FA sort of leagues, wherever they are. Is that, what, is that what it is? Where you have like former players and all that sort of stuff. Ah, that, sounds, that sounds cool. I mean, playing against some, like, you know, ex professional footballers. Sounds like fun. This sounds like a great laugh. Ooh. I reckon it must be like on a whole different level to play with a professional footballers as well. Used to be on trial with Grimsby. Man! That's cool. That, that, that is cool. Like I know Grimsby aren't like top tier, you know, Premier League or whatever, but that's cool. That is, that is still very cool, man. Why did you like? Why did you stop being on trial? Did they, were you like, did they just not want you? Or... Oh come on, struggle, bud. No, Dotla. Oh, that triple hit me, didn't it? Let's send out Dreadnought, why not? I mean, we need to, we need to send out Dreadnought just so that we can revive um, Doppler so that Doppler gets some of the experience. I don't want Doppler to be left out. Let's go ahead and use revive on Doppler. You got, you got injured for seven months. What did you do? Like, tear your hamstring or, like, or leg break? That's just, that's a, that's a, that must be a pretty bad injury. Get out for seven months. Alright, let's use fight. Let's 
Bye bye, Coffeter. I'm talking about easy as you like. I can't remember what his last Pokemon is. There we go, Corvus Squire is up. Dockler did get the XP for that. Pokemon Trainer Betty is about to send out a Hatena. Will I switch my Pokemon? Yeah, why not? Let's send in Carcol. Get Carcol in there. Flame Charge. Man, I love this Pokemon. I love this Carcol Pokemon. It's just, it's just cool. You know, gone from a Rolly Collie into a Carcol, and I think it has one more evolution off. I was looking up, and it looks pretty cool as well. This Hatena Pokemon looks pretty cool. I think I need to get me one of these. Man, seven months out in I don't think I. Be able to like, like, if in like seven months you weren't able to like, do anything, or it seems like seven months just seems like such a long time to be playing football. All right, Hatena is dead. I think that's his last Pokemon, or at least it was unless he caught one more. Dreadnought up to level 25. What I like to see Ponyta. So see, we need to send our newly leveled up Dreadnought into battle. There we go. Excellent. Not everyone born on my team like this. Keep rolling. Hey, Crazy Picklers Gaming is in the chat. What's up? How's it going? How's your day at work been, mate? I don't know what the like seven hours or like five hours behind. So what's the time over there now? Maybe like four o'clock in the afternoon, I guess. I don't know. How's your how's your day at work been? You've got a broken leg, dislo dislocated arms, and a broken leg. What? I mean, one or the other is like, yeah, you know, that's like a reasonable injury, but that's. A I'm assuming you got a broken leg from like a dangerous challenge. But to. Do you like to do it. Like at the same time? Do you have a dislocated arm and a broken leg at the same time? <sighs> Twisted my arm right back. Oh god. Oh. Man. It must have been painful. <laughs> Like, I know they say play through the pain, but... Ooh. I, I, I mean, that just... That just sounds terrible. Put you in... Put, I put his lead... I don't want your lead card. Now, where should I go next to collect the wishing stars? I don't know, where, wherever you want, mate. Man, that... Yeah. I, did you do it? Did you do them both at the same time? Or was it like... One after the other? Go on a stretcher. Ooh, dude, that doesn't, sound, that doesn't sound like a good time. That does not sound like a good time. Alright, get Dotler back up. Dreadnought as well. And Carpal, why not? You can have some. I'm gonna still keep Dotler at the top of the party. At the same time, that. I mean. Whoa, what the hell is that? <laughs> okay, we just got done by a sunfish. That was using a Pokeball as bait. Man, I feel, I feel really dumb right now. I was not expecting that. I thought it was just a genuine Pokemon on the ground, but hey, that's uh, that's pretty cool. If we can confuse it, maybe we can catch it. Maybe. Oh my God, it's not very effective. What? What is effective against it? What is a stunk fist? It's a ground type, maybe? What's like a ground type? Man. Did I just don't understand how you can break your leg and was it like both arms? Did you dislocate both arms? What is this Pokemon's weakness? 
What is it weak against, guys? What do you think it's weak against? Let's go in with Corvus Squire, because Corvus Squire's got high attack. Yo, crazy picklers, man. How does your day at work? Have you finished work yet, or are you still there? Are you at home? Got any plans for the rest of your day? Even that's not effective against it. What about Fury Attack? Is, is Fury Attack going to be effective against it? Do you think Fury Attack will be effective against it? No, of course not. Of course not. What is effective against Ground Type? Water Type, right? What? Send out Dreadnought, let's see if we can do some damage. If any of you guys are Pokemon fans, and <laughs> if I could let me know what is good against this Pokemon, I would be more than happy to take your suggestions right now. If I don't actually know what is good against this, maybe this is a sign that I should catch it. But if I can't figure it out... Okay, so it's a ground type. It has to be a ground type. Just using Revenge on me, please. Please don't. Alright. Please, we need, to, we need to catch this thing. Oh, god damn it. Dreadnought. I mean, Dreadnought is a water ground type. A water rock type against ground type. We're gonna use our next Pokemon. And we are going to send in Carcoal. That's a mistake. Oh, he's a rock type. Try and flame charge it. Okay, we got it down to quite low health, so. We're gonna mud shot up, be super effective, don't die, Carpole. We are now going to try to use a great ball on this stunk fisk. Come on. Come on. There we go. Easy as you like. Stormfisk has been caught. Yeah, Dreadnought didn't get any XP. A bit annoying. Dotler and Gargoyle leveled up though. 26 and 25 for Dotler. It's good. It's good. Let's, have a, let's check out this stun, stun fisk. A ground steel type. So yeah, I guess fire and water. Good against it. Living in mud with a high iron content has given it a strong steel body. No. Maybe that's an underrated Pokemon. It doesn't seem like a lot of obvious moves affect it that well. So maybe, maybe that's an underrated Pokemon to keep an eye on. Uh, Carco, you need it. Corpusquire, you need it. And obviously we need to revive. Uh, we need to use a revive on Dreadnought. He fainted, and we will use that on Dreadnought as well. Yo, guys in the chat, are you any of you guys Pokemon fans? How much does this cost? I paid forty-five pound for this. So. That's how much it costs. I'm a massive Pokemon fan. It came out today, uh, so I, I've, I've had a day off work and I've been playing it. Yeah, yeah, the game, for me at least, was £45. I know a lot of places are charged for like 50 55 which is just... I mean, game prices are ridiculous. Uh, no matter where you go, game prices are always just bloody ridiculous. It's, like, it's just absolutely... I mean, you know, having to buy like Modern Warfare or Ghost Recon or any of that sort of stuff and having to pay like £60 for it, it's just, it's just ridiculous. I, I mean, that's why I've sort of, I, I mean, I've subscribed or I've got the Xbox Game Pass as well, um, which I have been playing. And Xbox Game Pass will give you so much more games for like less amount of money. I mean, it's maybe not the games that come out immediately, but, it's, you know, it's 
games that you can play, they're, they're not bad games, and you know, I enjoy playing some of those in my own free time. This game, and you can actually, you can't get this game on Xbox, so Pokemon is exclusive to Nintendo. Um, I'm playing this on the Nintendo Switch. I got the Switch a couple of years back, actually, just uh, uh, in the year it came out, um, towards the end of the year, when I think, I think, just after I started my job, actually, I, you know, went through a couple of, a couple of months of pay, and then I was like, you know what, screw it, I'm going to treat myself. And so yeah, I go. I've got uh, I've got myself a Switch, and I got myself Pokemon today. So yeah, you got a Nintendo Switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I if you're a Pokemon fan, I thoroughly recommend it. There's another bait Pokeball there. Another bait Pokeball there. I'm not falling for that trap. Man. I'm not falling for the trap. I I have grown wise to the ways. What is that over there? That's one of those Shellos evolutions where they are. Oh, it's a barboach. Come on, Dotler, you can do it. All right, let's do some confusion. Yeah, I mean, if you're a Pokemon fan, I've been enjoying this game so far today. Like I say, I mean, Pokemon's not for everyone, but... I mean, this is... Pokemon's been part of my... Me growing up for you know the last 20 plus years of my life. Obviously, you know, especially when Pokemon comes out when you're a little kid and just love it and it's been with you throughout your entire life and it's still you know it's still it's still going strong. It's still going strong. You know, as as evident from so obviously there was that Pokemon Center thing that opened up in Westfield in London. And I'm from London, so obviously I went there on the day that it opened, and there was just so much queuing. And I decided to go back there the next day, early in the morning. And even then, early in the morning, you didn't get into the shop until 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Must have been queuing for, what, 7 hours? It was ridiculous, man. Uh, people love Pokemon. It's, it's absolutely insane. You know, the queues were going outside of the shopping centre. And they had to shut the they had to shut the queue just after twelve o'clock. You know? Because basically it was like an eight hour wait to get into, to get into the store. And it's just that's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. But people go wild for Pokemon stuff, you know? I went there just because I was like, you know, I've got nothing better to do and I'm a massive fucking nerd, so Oh Barboat, stop going to sleep. Stop using all the Let's switch our Pokemon out. Let's bring in Bolton. See if we can deal with it. What uh, what what games do you have on your Switch? You got any uh, cool games on the Switch or just the uh, you know basic games like Mario and uh, Zelda and stuff like that? I don't know. I've got a few games on my Switch, but it's really a console that I just don't use. You know, I need to use it a bit more. I think. Oh, of course, yeah, Barbo is a water ground type. I knew that, I knew that as well. I knew that going into it. I was thinking, wait a minute, is he a ground type as well? He's definitely a ground type as well, isn't he? I should buy it, why not? There we go, finally. You don't play it a lot, yeah, yeah, mean, mean either, like I say. I'd... I'm hoping that this game gets me back into playing it quite a bit. But, then again, I think that is more to do with the Pokemon aspect of it as opposed to me wanting to play a Switch, you know, I mean, it's, like I say, it's really an underused console that I've got. I want to play it a lot more. I do want to play it a lot more. I want to give it the uh, love and attention that it deserves, but you're busy. You're busy all the time. 
and he's on the Xbox a lot of the time as well. So. B4 on Nintendo Switch is trash. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I've not played uh, B4 on Nintendo Switch, but yeah, I bet it is. I bet it is. I bet it's uh, not a great game to play on the Switch. So yeah, I've, I've, I haven't played it on the Switch, but yeah, I don't, I don't. I can't imagine it would be a great game to play, especially in like the hand. I mean. It's the only way that I would play would be on handheld mode, just because that seems like the, uh, the best way to play FIFA, but yeah, I imagine that FIFA scaled up on the Switch is, is not great. The graphics are shocking, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, like I say, I, I, I'm not surprised by that at all, if I'm, if I'm completely honest. I would, I would not be open to, to wanting to play FIFA on a Switch, it just feels like it's... I understand what they're doing with the whole docking and undocking stuff, but I just feel like it, FIFA is not an optimised game on a Switch. Why? Uh, let's use Confusion one more time. It's like FIFA 06, oh man, that's going back. FIFA 06 was like... FIFA 06 was just a bad time. That's all I remember. From back in the... Like the old FIFA were just bad times. Alright. Let's continue on through the second mining part. We've got a Grip Claw. An item to be held by a Pokemon it extends the duration of a multi-turn attack such as bind and wrap. Okay. Uh nope. Wanna walk around that. Uh there's some Yell Squad goons over here. So let's set up this. Let's get Doctor back up there. Doctor and Dreadnought lagging behind a bit in terms of the team. But let's go ahead. So these guys, who weren't watching the last uh, stream earlier today, these are grunts from the Yell Squad. You're one of them taking part in a gym challenge, right? Quite okay, but that's really something. I'd love to battle against a great trainer like you. Well, look at you, Jack. Surrounded by a balloon fans, eh? You'll even be showing up to up lead pretty soon. Oi, jog on, mate. Can't you see we're in the middle of a conversation here? Uh, yeah, and can't you say I'm that... Can't you say that I'm Hop, the trainer who'll be your next champion? Ooh, so we've got a Joker here, eh? You're so funny, I forgot to laugh. Think I'm joking? I'll prove it then. And I think a battle with you lot would definitely end with some laughs. Alright, let's take them on together, Jack. You ready? Yeah, of course I'm ready. Always ready, here we go. With a double... With the double battle, the two of us were endorsed by the champion himself. We'll show you just what that means. Well, if you insist, Team Yell's gonna reach you... Gonna teach you kids that gym challenges, no joke. You better not be yell oh. What did this other kid have to come waltzing up for, eh? I just wanted to knock off challenges one at a time. Yeah, so these guys are sort of supporting another trainer who is going through the gym challenge battle as well, trying to get in the way of us and other trainers, not their, uh, the, the person that they are supporting. Look, it's that, it's that fox Pokemon again. That fox Pokemon. Look, that fox has a moustache. Look at it. Look, look at it. It's got a moustache. Look at it. You can see it around its nose. It has a moustache and it's got like a Zoro mask on. Like what? Alright. So, Struggle Bug against both of them. Cool. I'll take Struggle Bug against both of them. No, 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 that's fine. That's okay. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay, you don't, you don't, you don't have to do that, you don't have to do that, people. You don't have to be so effective against me, nobody, you have to do that, Linu. Alright. Maybe hit one more time? Nah, I only hit two times. Struggle bug. Alright, I think we need to swap Doppler out. Let's go to Pokemon. Let's give, let's give Dreadnought a run out. I mean, he's our lowest Pokemon at the moment, so why not? 
we need to get all the experience we can get. I'm not sure what level our Pokemon need to be to be able to actually make the uh, next gym a challenge. Um, so it's a fire gym next. So yeah, we will be looking to maybe use Dreadnought quite a bit, even though it only knows one water type move. Come on, Dreadnought. Let us use Rock Tomb or the Linu so we can guarantee, hopefully, a kill. Wulu is dead. And now, so there's a Linu. Easy as. There we go. Pokemon gain EXP point, so the stocks are gonna go up. Yep, Stotler and Corvus Squire both level up. 27 26. <coughs> Making it through the levels. Nasty plot. Oh no. What does that mean? Your, your special attack is that? Yep. I'm surprised that I know one of this. Oh, he's got another Pokemon, Panchan. I'm surprised I remember what some of the moves actually do as well. Guys in the chat, what is your if you're a fan of Pokemon? What's your favourite? What's your favourite Pokemon? What's your favourite Pokemon game? Do you have a favourite? Do you like them all? What, you know, what was the last one that you played? Feeble, bye bye Feeble. Oh, easy as pie. Get out of here with your fake moustache. Dreadnought leveled up. 26, 5 by 5 here. Probably Squire used to luck. Almost, almost, almost. Pancham used work up, which is what, like attack? SP attack and attack. A life bars, which is interesting. Let's go ahead and just rock to the life bars. Wee! Speed is down. Almost dead as well. Corvus Squire from Hop. Dug it in the Pancham, takes it out. Carcol almost up to level 27. Let's just go ahead and fight the Lipard. That should finish it off. There we go. Easy as you like. There we go, Carcoal up to level 27. Doctor and Dreadnought almost up there as well. Might be a little bit behind. Carcoal wants to learn to move Incinerate. I can do that. Incinerate is 160. User attacks the opposing Pokemon with fire. If Pokemon is forming a certain item, so the buried the item becomes burned up and then you use it. Uh, so, what do we want to do? Maybe what polish we've got this. We use the speed stat. What polish shot we raise the speed stat. Yeah, let's we'll get rid of what polish, but we do have the flame charge in there and it'll keep us on two uh, two fire attacks, two rock attack. Pretty balanced. Alright, there we go. We defeated the team the old grunts. Are you gonna tell us? Are you gonna yell at us? Cause we cause we up and yell last. If, I, if I'd used a horn, would I have had a better chance of winning? I don't know mate, maybe not. I mean, I am a pretty, a pretty pro Pokemon player, I don't know if you know. That little mug's a champion's little brother. Guess that's what you get when your older brother's not useless. I know we're Team Yell, but <laughs> we'll leave quietly once we've beaten. Yeah, you better leave quietly. Thank you very much for that help on that hop. Now then, where could Kabu have gone off to? Let's keep going. Maybe he's further in. Yeah, maybe he is. Probably is, right? Is there just a dreadnought walking around? What the hell? What? Okay. There's just happens to be a dreadnought walking around. Uh. So if there's a dreadnought walking around, I can't use Bolton because it's not going to be effective because it's a rock type. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Maybe... 
Ooh, he, he's calling the squire, see if we can take it out. Calling the squire. Yeah, but it's a rock type, so it's gonna, it's gonna be a second track against flying. Maybe. Car calls rock, but it's gonna be some water. This is a bit of a tough decision. Maybe. Maybe we just fight it with a dreadnought. Maybe we just go ahead and fight Dreadnought against Dreadnought, you know, why not? Why, why the hell not? Here we go. Twenty-four versus twenty-six. Let us use Rock Tomb. Ah, uh, use the Rock Tomb on us. Just trying to get our speed sat down. We're gonna try and do the same. Get a bit more damage, I believe. Let's go ahead and use that again. Use his bite. It's still a bit faster than us for some reason. Why? Why? How do you? How do you avoid that attack? That was a chance to make sure that we were faster than it. Ah, oh, okay, we avoided that attack. Very good indeed. I don't want to. I don't want to capture it. I want to fight it, maybe. Okay, so we're faster than it now. And we made it flinch as well, so we're gonna go ahead and fight again. There we go. Bye bye, Dreadnought. Ooh, Dreadnought 750. What is that? I don't want that. I don't want that anywhere near me. What's that Pokemon? Why is that thing that's scuttling around everywhere? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and leave out. Leave it leave it. Go that way or we can go this way. Around it, pick up this thing. So I see that Pokeball though. I see that Pokeball. I'm not. I'm not going to fall for that trap again. You know, I, I've, I've grown smart. Okay, what Pokemon do we want to use? What were we using? We were using Dotler. Dreadnought is there. We can keep Dreadnought in. I guess we can keep Dreadnought in. I don't see why not. Let's just use a potion. Only got one super potion left, so we'll only use it when we need to. And maybe an orange berry. Our last orange berry. There we go. 82 out of 86 is not bad. So, come on, mate. Battle me. Steam power can send any opponent flying. I'm sure he can. I'm sure he can, mate. Well, Star Vincent sent out a drill bird. Come on, Dreadnought. I know you can do it. Definitely know you can do it. It's also a ground type, right? Against the rock type. This might not go so well. We need to be able to take it out quick. Using rapid spin, which is great. So it's not going to be effective against the rock type. But its speed is going to be faster than me now. Okay, using rapid spin again. It's good. It's good for us. It's good for us. Let's use water gun. Take it out, easy. Easy. Hopefully he hasn't got another one. There we go, Dreadnought up to level 27. Dotler now, the only level 26 left in our party. Soon to be 27 though. Um, but at that same point, Thwacky and Bolton are getting close, close to being level 28. So, might be lagging behind a little bit. We are... We... We are actually going to switch Pokemon. We'll, we'll send in Thwacky actually, because we know that it's a rock type and Grass should be super effective against it. Or at least if my memory serves me right, I'm fairly certain that Grass is going to be super effective against it. So, level 23 on it. Yeah, there we go. Let's use Razor Leaf. Ooh, there we go. One hit. One hit. There we go. Not quite, not quite for those three Pokemon. But we did beat Whale Star Vincent. What incredible power. I guess I was the one who, Oh, I guess I was the one sent flying. Yeah, you were. You were, you know. You doubted the uh you doubted the challenger and yeah, you got you got burnt, so you know. 
banned to. That's fucker. Is that, is that the one that keeps yeah. Yeah, it's one of those quick moves, I guess. Continuous damage moves. Ah, this this path is just absolutely littered with all of those stupid Pokeball traps. Does my head in. All right. I mean, you've seen him. He's here. Ah, he's got one of those um car colds as well. Thank you for helping us out. Thank you for helping out with my training, Team Yo. But I must say, it's unforgivable for you to get in the way of a car coal hard at work. We weren't getting in this way. We were trying to cheer it on. Still, you did a number on us in that Pokemon battle, so it's time for Team Yell to scarper and give a morale boost elsewhere. So weird. Cheering is one thing, but one shouldn't get in the way of honest work. Ooh. That's Kabu, man. He's wicked. No one day the fire type gym leader. Ah, you are the trainers endorsed by Leon, Hop, and Jack. Am I right? I'm just training right up until the last moment, so I, I can guarantee the perfect match when I face you, gym challenges. I specialize in fire type Pokemon, and the water type Pokemon in the Galar mine number two are the perfect opponents to train against. Regardless, it's getting late. Just go straight once you get out of this mine, and you'll reach Moto Stoke. Get a good rest at the hotel and make sure you're both in your top condition. Come on, Carco. Time for you to head on home, too. I'll make sure you get there safely. Do you guys like my uh, impressions of Pokemon? We're going to be fi on fire tomorrow. Yeah, I'm sure we will be. I do have a Dreadnought, and I think that's the only Pokemon I have that will help me in this, uh, in this battle. I remember Lee talking about Cavalry. I said a lot of gym challenges give up because they just can't beat Cavalry. Oh, man. man, now I'm getting all fired up too! Alright, I mean I didn't want to leave there because I wanted to see if there was something else that was in there, but... Okay, that car call from before. I guess I must have been here on a job. You do know what po about poker jobs by now, right? Poker what? Looks like there's no helping it. In that case, settle down and let Professor Hop teach you a thing or two. Let's see if I can remember what Lee had written down in his old notebooks. Basically, you can have your Pokemon go about and help companies or other folks who are in need of something. You can take poker jobs from the Rotomi at any Pokemon Center, so give it a look sometime. Now, I'm Cream Cracker. Did he just pull out some cockney rhyming slang? Cream Cracker knackers? Damn. I'm for the body drop in and some sleep. Come tomorrow that fire gym leader Kabu, he better be ready, because I'll be coming for him. Cool. cool, you do that. I'm going to quickly go back in here and see what was in that final area, because I think we might have missed something. Is there anything we missed here? Ah, maybe not. Maybe not, but, you know, never can be too sure. I'm always uh, one for exploring new new Pokemon games. Oh, this is a hoot hoot. Ah, Sudo Wudo as well. Yo! Okay, bringing back some of the OG classic Pokemon from Pokemon Gold and Silver. Let's get in with a Pseudo Rudo. Pseudo Rudo, let's go. Remember this Pokemon being the one that was uh, always getting in the way and it was blocking the path, as opposed to it being a, um, a Snorlax that you had to wake up. It was always a Pseudo Rudo that you had to uh, water with your little whale pail or whatever it was that they used back in the day. I remember that. I remember that back in Gold and Silver. So yeah, Pseudo Wudo. What is that? It's like a ground type. I think it's a ground type. Look, it just stands still. I don't know if it's there. Yeah. It has an animation, but it's not that great. One more hit with Water Gun. Maybe another one, maybe. It used Mimic, so it's going to use Water Gun again for me? I learned Water Gun. I learned Water Gun all it like. Oh yeah, there we go, Pseudo Wudo. Tearful look. That's alright, I don't care. You can look at me in any way, shape or form you want, mate. I am now going to try and capture you. Because that's just how we do. Come on, Pseudo Wudo. Let's go, please. Wow. Wow. Instantly. 
instantly just, I just got cop blocked by the pseudo Udo guy. Damn. This is a great ball. Let's give it a go with the great ball. I know pseudo Udo. Really difficult to catch. I know that they are. I know that they were back in the day as well. What other. Other Pokemon. Uh, 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 uh. At night dusk ball maybe? It is, it is night time. Maybe? 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 There we go. That's what we needed. Pseudo Widow has been caught. I doubt that I will ever use it, but another one to add to the collection. There we go. The three Pokemon have now all leveled up. Wacky up to level 28. Bolton up to level 28 as well. He wants to learn the move Charm. Charm ups the attack. Oh no. Partially lowers the target's attack stat. Could be useful actually. You know what? We're going to give it a tackle for it. Because I think Charm is just way too good of a move to use. And then Dotler also up to level 27. I think Dotler's almost close to evolving again. I think so, I'd like to say that. If a tree branch shakes when there's no wind, it's a pseudo not a tree. It hides from the rain. Yeah, probably. We'll add you into a box, pseudo We may revisit you at some point in the future. We've got... What are they, are they called knocked owls? They're not, they're not hoot hoots, are they? I, yeah, I think they're called knocked owls, right? If my memory serves me correctly, they're called knocked owls. Dreadnought... We still want Dreadnought to be in there, uh, probably do. What's, the, what's the good against flying type? Rock type, right? Sure. Right. Knocked out. Yep, I was right. I knew it was a knocked out. Yeah, Rock Tomb does it, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, I wanted to catch it, but now I know. <laughs> oh, I can't even see this. It was hiding. Amulet coin. An item held by Pokemon, it doubles any prize money received if the holding Pokemon joins a battle. Could use that at some point. There's also a coughing here. Let's go ahead and try and catch this coughing. There we go. We have to catch this coughing, right? I think it's a version exclusive. I think coughing is one of the exclusives to Pokemon Sword, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's Coffin and Neckins are like the alternate version of Spooky, which I think it was in some of the old games when they first started introducing version exclusives. Oh, let's go ahead and see if we can catch this Coffin. Might not be able to, but I'm gonna give it a try anyway. Okay, let's put the bag. I don't even need to, I keep saying I need to go to the back, I don't even need to, I just press X and it's just there. Come on, Poppy. You know you want to. You know you want to. There we go. Definitely, definitely wanted to, guys. He definitely wanted to. Alright, Corby Squire, up to level 28. Dreadnought, almost up to level 28 as well. Doppler and Karkol falling behind. Doppler falling a bit, a bit farther behind. What's the doing? Scary face. Scary face lowers the defense? Lowers speed. Probably give it a fury attack for that. Don't really don't really care for fury attack. I don't really care for those repetitive moves, to be fair. None of them are ever really that great. Coughing. There we go. Welcome. Welcome coughing. 
Oh, I don't want to add you to my party, I'm sorry. I would like to send you a box. Oh, Hanata! No! There it is. Hatana, not, not Hanata, Hatana. This is a very tough. I think I want to catch her this as well. Just to say I've got one. Maybe we shouldn't fight it. Maybe fight will kill it. Maybe fight will kill it. I don't know. Try to use rock, rock Tomb on it. Ah, uh, Rock Tomb killed it. Damn. Damn. Oh well, bound to be another one somewhere, right? Right there, right there in fact, there is another Hatana. And here as well, so... Let's go ahead and do that. Maybe if we walk to him first without... ...attacking... ...before that, it might not be. Maybe it doesn't. There we go, there we go. I knew what I was doing. Let's go and catch the There we go, come on. Yep. Three shakes and you're out. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. It's a psychic type Pokemon. Hmm. Cool. I will send you to the box. Just for now, at least. I want to catch one of you guys as well, knocked out. I need to catch one of you guys. Oh, did Rock Team, Rock Team knock it out in one go, but didn't it? Let's try not to do it. This might take some time. Knocked out what a dark flying type. Oh, there we go. Critical hit. That's what I needed. That's, that's actually what I needed, you know. Let's try and use a Pokeball on it. Why not? One. Two. Three. There we go. Knocked out. Catching all sorts of Pokemon. Catching all sorts of Pokemon. Left, right, and center. I know we're not really progressing any further, but... There we go, look, Dreadnought and Carcoal, both up to level 28 now. Easy as you like. Both of them on 92 HP as well, I think. There we go, yeah, oh, it's normal flying, huh. Weird that a normal flying knows confu confusion. That's weird. Alright, let's, uh, let's just continue. There is Pokemon Trainer here. Let us now put Dotla at the top. Party. Hopefully, we have a move that is super effective against whatever this lady wants to throw at us. Young Pokemon Trainer, when you want to move a battle? Sure, sure thing. Alright, let us uh, use Confusion. Fuck out of that Yamba. Nah, it's not. She's gonna be paralyzed. Thank you. Confused though. Fuck out of that Yamba. Part 2. Fucking <sighs> Roar trying to switch me out. Who are we gonna be left with? Ah, you know what? Fuck, I will take it. I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and try this anyway. We haven't actually used this. Woo! Pretty good animation. Pretty good animation, I like that. I like that. Where is Dotla? Dotla got 190. Swoobat. So, I want to... 
kind of want to use Dreadnought, right? Like the rock type. Probably want to use Dreadnought for the rock type. I could have just used left Carco in there. Could have just left Carco in there. There we go, we'll be back. There we go. Easy as you like. Ooh. Almost there, almost there. Madame Caroline, sorry about that. Fine though, you know, I'll happily take your 4,800 poker dollars and the skin off my neck. Uh, right, let's read this sign. What does this sign say? Galar mine number two, Moto Stoke this way. Cool. And if a Pokemon police officer, we'll see. We'll leave Doctor in there. Hello, officer, excuse me. Hello, hello. What's all this then? Fancy a scrap with a copper? You guys, you guys enjoy my, you know, faux pas London Cockney police officer accent? I hope you do. You're challenged by police officer Raymond. Go, Growler. I was just saying that's what. That's what he probably sound like. He sounds like he's coming across as like a cockney copper. So, ah, uh, Growler is intimidate. Of course. Uh, we probably want to duck out of this battle uh, and uh, put Dreadnought back in. To be fair, probably want to put Dreadnought back in. All right. Growlithe, you did live. So, let's go ahead and use Water Gun. Use the Flame Wheel. Not be effective at all, my dear. Sorry about that, Governor. Water Gun it. Easy as pie. Treadnor, Doppler. Still. Doppler still all on 27. Doppler looking like it's going to be a bit. A bit behind the party in terms of leveling up at the moment. Sorry guys, I just spilt some uh, drink on the floor. Gotta clean it up. It's never great when that happens. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. That's what I was doing. Sorry about that guys. Cheers. You've got some Pokemon with you there. Your battle technique, technique is bang on! Jesus Christ. Okay. So we've reached this bridge. Oh, there's something sparkly here. Order, order. Health filler. Slightly increases the HP base points of a single Pokemon. Oh, another sparkly thing. Swift feather. Another sparkly thing. Muscle feather. Whole bunch of feathers on this bridge. Oh, another one. What is this one gonna be? Health another health feather. Cool. And what are you? Oh, we're back in Motorstoke. My Corbinet got all rested up, so it's already headed off to its next poker jaw. Cool, we're back in Motorstoke. Over on the other side now. Where is the Pokemon Center is somewhere down here, isn't it? From memory, I think the Pokemon Center is somewhere down here. So we are gonna go and drop a quick heal on our Pokemon. Maybe we might even be battling two gyms in one episode. Who knows? In one live stream, rather. Yeah, there it is. The Pokemon Center is just here. Maybe, maybe we might be able to take on Kabu in the fire gym or uh, actually what we need to do we need to go back to the we need to go to the buddy win don't we because it's, we're, we're not taking them on until tomorrow so i guess we need to go to the buddy win and like i say i mean probably dreadnought will be the pokemon that will be like taking charge of it i think dreadnought is the only feasible pokemon to 
to, to really go in head first. Uh, so we will swap that with Dotler. Dotler, I think, evolves on level 30. So Dotler's quite close to evolving again. I've been looking up a lot of the stuff sort of off stream just in terms of you know what what level they evolve on what Pokemon uh, can be found um, in, in what locations and stuff like that. Just been looking at, at it on Cerebee.net and trying to figure out what Pokemon are good and what Pokemon are uh, maybe uh, uh, decent but stick away from. So yeah, I've been doing some research. All right, let's head to the Buddy Hotel. Or the Buddy Inn. I think we need to go here. Yeah! Ah! This is the person who has the Yell team. Well, she doesn't really like them, but they follow her around and cheer for her. Uh, challenge attack, right? Out giving it your all, leave even this late? Huh. Hey, help me with something for a second. I want to see if I'm ready for the next level of gym challenge. Alright. Wicked! Got some fight in you, huh? Oh, man. Okay. Come on, Marnie. She's got her own fucking groupies in the background. A crow a gun. That is a poison. Poison, poison, water. I feel awful if I lose. There's no way I'm gonna. You don't look awful. Let's use it. We've got Dread Nor in the battle. Oh, cool. 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 Like, okay. So I've got two not effective moves and then water gun, because it's a dry skin, has no effect anyway. Um. Um. Let's send in Carcol. Let's send in Carcol. Why not? Burn it. Alright, let us incinerate. So, decent amount of damage. It's gonna use revenge and kill us. Maybe not, maybe not. Let's use flame charge as well. Come on, let's use flame charge. Please work. Oh yes, there we go. Increasing the speed as well. Bye bye, Crow Gun. Dotler not quite. Dotler not quite. Send out Scraggy. Scraggy is a round. Right. Pick Scraggy to ground. I got it wrong. Use Corpus Fire. Send out Corpus Fire. Not effective, mate. Not effective. Let's use Pluck. There we go. There we go, okay. I remember that for the future. Scraggy is a fighting type, not a ground type. There, Dotler. Almost. Send out more Pekka. I mean, we'll leave more of the Spire in there, or the Spire in there. Almost more of the Pekka. Alright, so, fake me. Which means that maybe we Why not? I think it's an electric type. 
think so. But, uh, but it is super effective. What the hell? Uh, but YOLO this and the wacky because That is an angry Morpeko though, look at it. That is a one hell of an angry Morpeko. And now it's happy again. Wait a leap. Stop it, man. Why is that so overpowered? Seems that it's not an electric card. I uh, I misjudged it. Maybe. We need to get in there and use whatever attack is there, say P. That is pissing me off! Oh my god! Fucking what is this fucking Pokemon? Just what is it? What the hell? I just don't understand what, what the Pokemon is. Obviously, clearly, clearly I don't. Why is it critical hitting me every single turn? There's nothing I can do against it. There we go, Jesus Christ. It's, it's apparently an electric one, see? What? Jesus Christ. I mean, we've got four level ups, which is good that we kept them all alive, but Jesus Christ. Okay, Bolton grew to level 29. Dotler grew to level 28. Corvusquire Corvus Squire grew to level 29. And Thwacky grew to level 29. Cool. Man, that was just. What the hell was that Pokemon? What the hell is that Pokemon, Marty? Come on! Guess I'd better get to bed and rest up for tomorrow. You'd better get some sleep too. Ah, fuck off, Morpeko, I hate you. you. You little shit. Jesus. Man, that Pokemon really did my head in. Absolutely did my head in. Alright. The next morning... <coughs> so just rested up at the Badu Inn. Morning, Jack. Hello, Marnie. Fucking that, that little shit. That little. Uh, the more peco. A friend of yours already went off to the challenge, the next gym. Cabo's lead card is supposed to help him, to help against him, but I ended up with a few copies, so I'll give you one. Don't look so chuffed, it's no big deal. I. Cool, thank you very much for that. <coughs> Take this, too. A little something for our battle yesterday. Two burn hills. Yeah, you didn't burn me at all. I bet you'll have no trouble, trouble beating that man of fire, Cabo Chap, right? Why don't you get over to Motorstoke Stadium and get that gym badge you Reggie? Fuck off, Morpeko. Stupid, stupid creature. Just, just, uh, the bane of my bloody life. Right. So. Dreadnought looks like it's going to be the only Pokemon that's going to be able to actually help us out at all. In this battle. Not sure what kind of level the Pokemon that we're going to face are going to be, but I guess we'll have to find that out. Maybe we'll be a bit underpowered, I don't know. Slow moving, aren't you, Jack? I've already gone and earned my fire badge. That man of fire, Kabu, is just what you expect. Then he got burnt in the middle of my battle with him. Even with my strongest team, it was definitely touch and go, but I still won in the end. Get a shift on Jack. I bet you can beat me to the man. Bet you can beat the man of fire. Yeah, probably good. Do we have any TMs that we can use that might aid us? Do we have any water? Got whirlpool. Uh, it's not the greatest, is it? I don't think we've got anything else that we can use. So we just have to go with it with Dreadnought. See how it goes. We're gonna obviously try and Gigantamax Dreadnought or Dynamax, whatever you want to call it.
Alright. I'm ready. Let's go. Two gyms in one stream. Hopefully we can do this. I'm not sure what the challenge will be for this one. A bit different. Okay. A bit different to what we faced before. So let's go. Kabu in the fire gym. What is this? This doesn't look... What? Okay. What's going on? Gym mission for the fire gym is this. Catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Earn 5 points to clear the gym mission. In case you were wondering, you'll earn 1 point to 4 defeating a Pokemon in the tall grass or 2 points for catching a Pokemon. But you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you in your battles. Think about what your opponents might do and try to take the best action to rack up points. Huh? Can I do that? Can I? Can I take out my? Can I take out my opponent's Pokemon? Can I do that? Okay. Is that, is that I can do. Can I? Can I kill my? <laughs> can I? Can I kill him? Does he only have one Pokemon? Can I? Can I kill him? If I kill him, does that mean that I like automatically win? I mean, there's only one way to find out. Can I? Can I? Can I kill him? I killed his rolling golly. Do I get XP for that? <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't. This is I don't get XP. I need to send out another. <laughs> Use a Pokeball. Let's try and use a Pokeball on it. This is a weird gym mission. There we go. Yes, we caught it. Two points. That was weird. Maybe I shouldn't attack my uh, partner's Pokeball, but you know, whatever. Alright, we caught a Volpix, so we got two points. No, I'm alright. Uh, we'll send Volpix to a box for now. Can I just come at what's on that battle against him? Uh, Pokemon here, what is this Pokemon? Ah! Oh, it's a Sizzly Pea! Alright. Sizzly Pea. She's a water gun against it. Fucking asshole! <laughs> it attacked me! How dare you! It tried to attack me again! Nah, man. Nah, nah. Sarandi, you're dead to me. Dead to him as well. Try, you're still trying to fucking burn me. You're still trying to burn me. Is that seriously what's going on right now? Bye bye, Solandia. I'm sorry. You've tried to burn me way too many times. You attacked me a couple times as well. So screw you. Alright. Let us try and use a water gun on the Sizzly Pea. Dreadnought goes down, but not without doing his job. 
Look, our friend in Cargold just because he knows it's not going to be uh, affected too much by a fire type attack. But, I'm going to go ahead and try and capture this sizzly bead anyway. What? Are you kidding me? That attack up. Attack and defense and accuracy. Let's go and try it again. Please, Sizzly B, come on. Hey, second time to charm, there we go. Man, Dreadnought died, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. Firebug. Seems cool. That also has a moustache. I mean, that, that definitely just has a moustache. Like, that Pokemon definitely has a moustache. Look at it. Look at it. 100%. Just one more to victory. Uh, let us go to our bag. We need to revive our Dreadnought. That was not cool. That was not cool. Not cool, man. These guys, these guys are out here to play rough and really fuck with us. And that was not cool. That was not cool. Dreadnought is back to full health. I swear, man. Whoever this last person is, if you wanna, if you wanna go up against me, you're, you're, you're heading for the. Oh, it's a Litwick. Litwick. Cool. You're heading in the wrong direction. I am, I'm, I'm, I'm going straight for you. I don't even give a damn. I am going straight for you, Sizzly B. Ah, screw you. Screw you. Accuracy down, that's cool. Screw you, Sissy Pete. You're going down. Bye bye. I don't care about you. I don't even care if I don't get any XP from you. Doesn't bother me at all. You're trying to put a hex on me. Bye bye me. Bye bye me. Sending out a cell and it. Bye bye me. Actually, trying to attack the Litwick this time. Take it down to just half health. Why? You don't want to. You don't want to attack me. I'm telling you, you do not want to attack me. You know, you just don't want to attack me. You, land you don't. Then this shit will happen. You know? Poison. So. That's alright, that's alright. It is poisoned, we've got to keep an eye on that. But also, to land it, it's going to die right now, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, to land it. Some weird, weird mission. This is the way. It's still semi dying. Let us try and use a Pokeball on it. If not, there's always next turn. Looks like our teammate is out of Pokemon. So, there we go. I mean, I'm all for like a gym challenge encouraging you to catch Pokemon. Because, you know, we had to only get five points and we got six, and we caught all three Pokemon, which is great. But, weird. Really weird, the whole sort of concept. You have to attack your own Pokemon or the Pokemon that you're meant to be helping. Or hindering. I don't know. There we go. Cleared that mission. Easy as you like. Kabu. Alright. We're going up against Kabu. Looks like a Samurai badge. Also, what, what do we want to do? We kind of want to heal a bit more a bit. That. That. And maybe. Do we have a. Do we have an orange berry? We do not have an orange berry. Chesto berry. Mm, well, well, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. that. Mm, maybe we want to save as well. Always do the smart thing and save the progress. And then here we go. Number 69 taking on Kabu, the fire gym leader. Look at that, fix your hair up mate, fix your eyebrows, yeah there you go. 
Oh, hello, Kavu. How's it going? I thought he was walking out here like a boxer or something. Look at him. There's a towel around, towel around his neck. Guy looks like a pretty old dude. Badge looks, or, or the symbol of the gym looks like a, like a samurai helmet, so that looks cool. I think we might try and uh, fight this gym and then call it, call it a day, I guess. Certainly in terms of the stream. I might play some off-stream, just train up Pokemon a little bit, but... The fact that you are here means you've bested both Milo's Grass-type Pokemon and Ness's Water-types too. That's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer and Pokemon trains hard in pursuit of victory, but that means your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is, is able to unleash their true potential. I agree. I agree with that. Might be a bit understrange, because we haven't had a chance to actually level up our Pokemon. Here we go, gym leader Kabu, third gym leader in the Galar region, sends out a nine tail straight off the bat, oh man, what level is the nine tail, what level is the nine tail, it's all important, 25, we are up to 29, we can just water gun it, hopefully, uh, we'll win, burn off, straight off the bat, yeah I feel like, if you're water up and you get burned, you should be less effective. Damn! 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 Oh, fire spinners, they're gonna trap me in a vortex. Oh! Using all of the annoying moves. All of the moves that I don't like. Status effects and then being hurt in a vortex. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good though. Using fire spin again, why? Why do you even want to use fire spin again? Use any other fire moves. One more, one more attack, maybe. Man, this nine tails difficult. Straight off the bat, straight off the bat, nine tails. Maybe need to switch out to it, or so we can heal it in the background. Please kill it. There you go. Nine tails down. Nine tails down. One out, three down. Just think we're gonna drag out the man to kill me. Car call off the twenty-nine. Burn. I'm still trapped in the water. We are gonna switch our Pokemon. Not sure who we did. Switching the Carcoal, right? Maybe we just switch the Carcoal. Give Dreadnought a bit of time to recover. We're gonna try and heal it as much as possible. So it's far gone out because if the fire is happening, it should be resistant to whatever he wants to try and do to me. Oh, can I only love 25? Well. That's actually low level for an R9, isn't it? I thought I was going to growl if I can like level 30 or something. Right. We, do we have... We don't have any, like, super Well, I'm going to go ahead and burn and heal the red one first. Vital me, that's fine. Don't need too much damage. Go ahead and put the potion up the Dreadnought. Maybe we need to use two more potions on it. Again, fighting me is not, not too much of an issue. Yeah, two more potions on the Dreadnought should be okay. Maybe you have um maybe we should have stopped up on some before this but Yeah let's fight um Ancient Power. Still fighting me. That's annoying. I'm gonna be flinch on this thing now as soon as I decide to attack. Take a gym. Great. Rock type though, rock type though, ancient power, ancient power again. I sent out a Dreadnought anyway. I sent out a Dreadnought anyway, right? Really like I don't burn me, I don't burn me straight away. Can't fight. Right, that's not that bad, that's not that bad. Water 
gone. Here we go. Okay, still using fire, so I haven't actually used any fire attack yet. But... Oh, can I... I don't understand, I don't understand how a rock type move is more effective against it than a water type move. Alright. Alright, still using water gun. Pokemon fainted. Last Pokemon left. Sentry. I don't know what that is. Light up fire, and you're my moving, Kabu. That still must be a path to victory. What is Sentry? Whoa! So that's what that Sizzly P evolved into. Let's use Max Rock Ball on it. Why not? I think Rock Type would be good against it. Here we go. Time for Dynamax. That same song again, man. That same song. Ooh, look at him. Look at that bad boy. Woo! Bolton up to level 30 as well. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Forget a move for counter. Who's this for? Dreadnought counter. Counters any physical attack. Inflicting double the damage. Kind of like the text. Yeah, we'll give up on this and learn counter. Executive position made. Bolt and up them buddy, doesn't matter. Well right on Dreadnought, that was just a beast of an attack. That was a beast of an attack. What well on Dreadnought. Unlucky Kabu, I'm sorry, it just wasn't your day. It just wasn't your day, mate. Yeah, it just wasn't your day. Great Pokemon and a great trainer, yeah, basically. Basically me. I'm often regarded as the first real roadblock of the gym challenge, and yet you defeated me. Clearly your talents surpassed my many years of experience. I still have much to learn. Oh yeah, there we go, our third badge, second one of this live stream. I know now that you and your Pokemon will become a fantastic team. I'm glad I could battle you today. Let me give you a fire badge as proof you've defeated me. Thank you very much. We seem to be doing a lot of handshaking in this game. Is that going to slot in, in between there? Ah, there's that gap, man. That gap is annoying me. Gap is annoying me, but... We can now catch Pokemon up to level 35, which is always great. Thanks to the Dynamax phenomenon, our Pokemon battles have become part of the Galar region's culture. And it's the young trainers who are responsible for keeping our culture alive. Of course, I hope that instead of just keeping it alive, you also help to become stronger. Something better. I don't know why I saw that as stronger. We adults will be the pillars for you to hold to build on. Yeah, thank you very much, Kabu. Jack, I figured that if anyone could do it, you and Dreadnought would be the ones. Still, that match had me right at the edge of my seat. Challenger Jack, I see you've done a fine job collecting the gym badges from the grass, fire and water gyms. Please take this DM to commemorate what you accomplished here today. Willow Wisp, pretty good move, pretty good move. Inflict an instant burn on your opponent. And take one of our uniforms. It's the same design as Kabu himself wears. We've got a fire uniform. Cool. Got my, uh, got my three type uniforms. I think you've proven your skill well enough to try your hand against the gyms that await you starting in the city of Hamelon. Head back down to the wild area surrounding the city, then make your way to Hamelon. With all the badges we've earned ourselves, I reckon we should be alright even against the fierce Pokemon you find deep in the wild area. Let's go find out for ourselves. Yes, let's. Let's do that. But, 
that is going to be something that's going to be happening in the next episode. Oh, I say next episode, next live stream, even. Maybe even tomorrow I might stru uh, live stream some of this tomorrow. Not sure what time yet, but yeah, we'll certainly be live streaming some of it tomorrow. Let's go ahead and quickly check on our Pokemon where we are at. Dreadnought level 30, Thwacky level 29, Karkoa level 29, Bolton level 30, Doppler level 28, and of course Corvus Squire at level 29. So that's where we are. We're going to head back down to, of course, the wild area and then on to Hammerlock. But for now, guys, I will see you maybe tomorrow in the next live stream of Pokemon Sword. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys uh, for coming and hanging out in the chat. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.